Hey, what's up guys and welcome to another hack client review video. So today the next hack client got updated to 1.7.2 and it's the Diffusion hack client. It's a pretty simple and new hack client which comes with over 25 mods installed. Not all of them work right now but this is still an alpha release. So if we take a look at the description we can see that it is coded by Barker and Chris over Team Infinity. In the description you can also find the features, keybinds and commands. Also you will be able to change the color of the teams from blue to orange, purple, green, grey or red. And now enough of talking and let's start the game and check out the features of the hacks, so here we go guys. Okay guys, we're now in the game Minecraft 1.7.2 Diffusion Hack Client and this was initially released at wizardhacks.com so this is why you see this here. And now let's go to options and video settings and here you can see that Optifine is currently not included because it's not right now released for 1.7.2. Now let's go to multiplayer. Then here we can see that we also can't add any offline accounts or alt accounts, so you can't change your name or change your account. And now let's go to this multiplayer server and check out the basic features of the hack, so here we go guys. Okay guys, we're now here online on the multiplayer server, and here on the left top corner you can see the diffusion watermark. So this also stays on your screen if you're recording, so if you're a YouTuber and you're producing Minecraft videos and you don't want to tell your audience that you're hacking, then you should get another hack client. Okay, so now let's open up the GUI by pressing the right shift key on our keyboard. So this opens up the GUI. And here by default you only see the GUI hub. So this is drag and drop able, just click at it, then you can drag and drop it here around the screen. And then just release a mouse button to drop it. And if you want to pin this to your screen, just click at the left box here. And if you want to see the hacks which are in there, click at the right box. So here we can see player related hacks, word related hacks, rendering hacks, values, info and combat hacks. So also those boxes here are drag and drop able, so let's do this. And if you want to see um, the hacks which are in those categories, then you also have to expand them. You can do this by clicking at the right box here. So let's do this. Okay, and let's start with information. So here you can see your current frames per second, your coordinates and also your name. Then here we have values. So here you can adjust um, the flying speed, and here you can also adjust the opacity um, for the wall hack. Then here we have combat related hacks. So here we have criticals, so you only deal critical hits to other players. Then here we have god mode. So if you activate god mode, then you get invisible and you get stuck. And I think you don't have really god mode, but just people can see you and you also can't move. So if you deactivate god mode, then you can move again. Okay. Then here we have Kill Aura, so this is pretty cool. If you're near any other player, then you automatically start hitting him. So let's try this at this player here. And as you can see, this works at about three blocks in range of the other player. And this also works if the player is behind you, as you can see here. Okay, then let's open up the GUI. And there's also a Mob Aura, so this is for mobs only, and this does not affect players. And here we have a armor ESP which is currently not working, but if it would work you, sh um, you should see um, in which condition the armor of any other enemies. Okay, then here we have rendering hacks, so if you activate breadcrumbs you can see a line behind you. So this is pretty useful if you explore the wilderness and you don't know the way back and you don't have a set home in your home, then just follow the line back and then you're back in your home. And then there is a chest ESP, so basically it's the same like chest finder in Nodus, so you can easily see chests through the walls. And now let's try this, so somewhere over there was a chest, and as you can see this works like a charm. You can see the chest through the walls here, and there's also a tracer straight from you to the chest, so you can easily find them. Okay, then further here we have a player ESP, so the player ESP draws boxes around other players, and this also works through walls so you can easily see them, so this is working pretty well. Then here we have Fulbright, so this brightens up the whole area, pretty cool. So you can mine under the earth without using torches, and yeah. Then here we have projectiles, so if you have a bow, and let's go back to ego mode, then it predicts where the arrow will hit, so pretty useful for combat, but better would be a bow aimbot. Then here we have the wall hack, um, this is also binded to your X key, so I think um, they made the wall hack to be the x-ray, but if you activate this, then you just see entities through the walls, but you can't see any resources. So this isn't a full x-ray, and I think they have to implement it as soon as possible. Okay, now let's shut it off. Then here we have um, no weather. If you activate this, then you can um, stop the rain, for instance, but this also mostly only works in single player. 
Then here we have fast break, fast place and nuker. So fast break is working very well. Also fast place, but the nuker is only working on single player or servers which don't have any anti-cheat. Okay, then here we have player related attacks. So here we have flying. If you activate this, you can fly through the map. But as you can see, this is currently not working because it gets set back to the earth because this does not bypass no cheat and the server has a good protection against flying. Okay, then here we have click teleport. So if you activate this and you would click, um, do a right click, then you would be teleported to the next block which is nearest to your crosshair. So if I would try this right now, then I would be teleported to this block here um, in the front of me. But this only works in single player or on servers without protection. Okay, then here we have Glide, so let's see if this works. And as you can see, Glide is currently not working. So this is also one of the features which is currently not working. Okay, then here we have no falls. So this means no fall damage, but this also only works in single player. Then here we have safe walk. So safe walk is a pretty cool feature if you're doing parkours or if you are if you are building high in the air and you don't want to fall down. Then just activate safe walk and then you can't drop over the edge of a block. But as you can see, this currently does not work. So also one of the features which is not working. Then here we have wall climb, so basically that is the same like spider in other hack clients. So this lets you climb up walls, so now let's try this. But you also get setback like for flying. Okay. Then here we have step. So step lets you step up full blocks instead of half blocks. And let's try this. So as you can see this works pretty well, so you can step up full blocks. But sometimes you get setback, so you have to check if it works on the server you're playing on or not. Then further we have no swing and as you can see no swing is currently not working. Okay, so basically that were all of the features here in this GUI, but you can also enter commands. Therefore you have to close the GUI and press the T button for the chat and then just enter the command you want to enter. You can find a full list of all commands in the readme of the hack client. So be sure when you download it also to check out the readme. So for instance let's type um, dot team blue so this turns the team blue and um, we can also do some other stuff like dot panic which shuts off all the hacks or dot friend add j so this adds j to your friend list and stand kill aura does not deal any damage to him there are also some other commands which you can find in the description so basically we went through all features of this hack client and if you have any questions regarding this hack client just feel free to ask and leave a comment under this video also if you want to be informed on any other upcoming 1.7.2 hacks then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel as always thanks for watching and i hope i see you again in my next videos bye guys